I think the, the major problem that we have as individuals and not just as individuals is that we're creating habits every single day. Actually, let me rephrase that. We work on developing habits because a habit takes repetition. And if you don't do the same thing over and over enough times, it really won't become a habit. It'll begin to form a habit, but it really won't begin. It will not be a full-fledged habit unless you've done it so many times. And by the way, this is Santos Jr. here, Stockton, California. Thursday morning doing my empty uh, stomach cardio walk. Burn off some fat here. What little bit of fat I have. Uh, maybe saddlebags a little bit, I guess is that what they call it. I just love staying in shape. Now, I figured I'd do a, a video and just talk a little bit about what's happening with us. I've been, I have a YouTube channel, obviously, srolon.com that goes to Soldiers of Self Mastery. I'm actually pushing myself to do live videos on Wednesdays between the hours of 8.30 and 9. That's every Wednesday and every Friday. I'm doing a live session. On Wednesdays, I do it in Spanish, and on Fridays, I do it in English. I'm getting ready to launch into a Facebook live session probably once a week and I may even do an Instagram also now you know if we want more if we want to become more if we want to become our very best we're gonna have to really push ourselves and create or work on developing new habits we, we must get to a place where we challenge ourselves because we become a complacent society this whole world uh, um, you know we're, we're, we're already sinful by nature we're flawed and uh, we stay in this mofungo you know this rut and it's it's not helping us any we complain about the job, we complain about not having enough money, we complain about our bodies, you know, we get into fights with people so easily over trivial things because we don't have any stamina, because we don't think, see most people don't think, and I, I do these micro speeches and I do these videos in hopes to change my situation and to give people hope, to give people a different perspective. I know there's a lot of motiv motivational speakers out there. There's a lot of people that, that, that do inspirational stuff. They create things. Everybody's, there's a lot of people out there that are doing something to make this world a different place some have lots of money some don't have lots of money some have creativity some have a little bit of less cre creativity some are just starting out like myself you know my life was I was not on a good path you know I wasn't a thinker I was a puppet I I basically was giving in to a lot of negative patterns because that's what I was used to for so many years and from a young age I didn't have good seeds planted into my brain I didn't have those good seeds planted into my subconscious from an early age well what what you know what do you expect if from an early age you're getting bad seed planted into your subconscious into your brain 
the likelihood is that you're probably not going to do very well in life. Well, I managed to get through many areas by the grace of God. Sometimes I look back and I say, man, how did I even get through what I did? I, it's puzzling to me. It, it's puzzling to me. It really is. Now, today, I am fully awake. I am conscious of, of who I am and where I'm at and how I think. You know, this is, this is not easy. It's not easy to sit down and think. It's not easy to create videos and share your... It's not. I've been doing it for so long now it's become habit. But honestly, this is a very, very... This is a challenge. Um, especially going live. When you go live on videos, that's something that I'm pushing myself. Um, I'm pushing myself to do live videos on, on YouTube and I'm pushing myself to do live videos on Facebook. Why am I doing this? Why? Why? You know, because it's a challenge, because it's pushing me out of my comfort zone. It's helping me to grow. It's helping me to become more creative. And the truth about it is that if unless you're willing to step out, unless you're willing to step out of that comfort zone that you're in, that mofongo, it's just going to remain the same. You, you'll, you continue down that path that you're on. And some people, I, I remember making a video a while back. You know, most people, like I used to be, live in quiet desperation. You know, they're, they're, they're living a life of just total quiet desperation. They don't want to talk to, they don't want to talk to too many people about their situation. They're just, it's, they're holding it in and, or they shove it underneath the carpet. And what happens with all of that? It just continues to grow. It continues to uh, to morph into something ugly, something, and 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 uh, tragedies take place because of of these things. And and there's there's people in the hospitals, laying in hospitals and and in convalescent homes that are just full of bitterness. Bitterness got the best of them. I don't have the answer for all of that. But I do know that if an opportunity is presenting itself in front of you, whether it's through a video, whether it's through a song, whether you meet somebody in person, uh, a phrase or a word that you have with somebody in a conversation, if you begin to sense that something is stirring you inside, that you're feeling it, you need to really uh, explore that and take advantage of it because that might be the opportunity that's going to help you set yourself free. That might be the exact opportunity for you. But if you sit there and you just look at your fear and you sense that stirring inside you, you know, something's... and you'll never know. You'll never know. You, Unless you're willing to take a little bit of a risk, you'll never know. You won't stay right where you're at. You'll regress backward. I, I, I tweeted that earlier today on my, on my Facebook uh, timeline. And I, I also tweeted, I posted it on my Facebook timeline. And I tweeted something of that nature that if you're not going forward, you're not standing still. You're basically regressing backwards. So, again, I'm going to continue to push myself. In spite of my flaws, in spite of my failures, I'm not a professional speaker. I'm not. Um, the only thing that I'm good at is <laughs> doing what I feel I need to do. I'm getting better at that. You know, I'm learning to honor my word. I'm learning to understand that my speech and my word is very powerful. My thoughts are very powerful. That I'm an original person. Uh, created by the master of this universe and I have qualities and abilities in my life that I should work on every day just like you do you have abilities you have talents you have things inside of you that you're not even you may not even be aware of and unless you're willing to step out of that comfort zone unless you're willing to step out of that mofongo you're not gonna find out who you truly are and what you can do for others what you can do for yourself um, I didn't plan to do this video today. I'm going to take a break here in a few minutes and I'm going to end this video. But 
it is what it is. You know, whenever I feel inspiration, I get in front of the camera and I make videos. I'm not going to apologize to anybody for it. I'm free. You know, um, I don't I don't have to hide from people. I, I tell the truth wherever I can. I do the best wherever I can. I push myself and I realize that I'm going to continue to fail. I fail every single day. I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not afraid to stand in front of people and declare that. And that's what I do in my live videos. Someday I'll be able to stand before a, a, a live audience of, of people, you know, maybe 5,000, 10,000, maybe 20,000, who knows, maybe 100,000 people, and I can share my story and inspire people to dig deep down inside themselves and find who they are and bring that, that gift that, that they have, you know, to service. That's what I'm about. That's what basically ticks, you know, that's what makes me tick inside. That's what motivates me is the thought of all of this stuff. You know, these speeches and these live uh, sessions that I could have. And just the fact that I know that I'm helping people change, changing lives, you know, changing lives, helping people change and become <sighs> their very best. Wow, that was quite a cardio walk. And I tell you, it's, I'm gonna begin finishing this video, but I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm excited because I feel like I'm living. At 50 years young, I'm living. I'm living a life today that I've never thought I would be. I'm, I'm living uh, at a place today in my life where I thought I would never be. You know, I'm, I'm no longer a gambler. Uh, casino gambling is, is behind me, it's under my feet. I don't, um, I don't have to depend on substances to make me feel high every single day because I'm on a natural high every single day. I'm working on my financial mindset. I talk about the four pillars of success, right? I talk about relationships, having good relationships. I talk about financial security. I talk about happiness and inner joy, and I talk about making a difference. Those are the four key areas that we really want to focus on in our lives if we want to really experience on a new life. And honestly, I have to say, I give glory to my creator. I'm very thankful, I'm very grateful every single day that he allows me to get up. Um, it, my mind, the more that you believe in yourself, the more that you put confidence in yourself, the more creative that you can get. And again, the more creative that you become, the more risks that you take. And some of those risks will, will lead to other better things. And, and some of those risks may not lead to anything. But the point is, is that you're willing to take those risks. The point is, is that you're willing to step out of that mofongo. And I'm working on my book. I'm hoping to get that book done within the next several months. It's writing a book is, it takes time. It's a lot of work. I started it about a year ago and I'm still, uh, you know, I've had distractions. I've had, um, things that have gotten in the way, but nevertheless, I'm still working on it. And I'm truly excited. I'm truly excited to be here. I wanna thank you for watching this video. And again, you know, if you've gotten something out of this short micro speech, be willing to share it with somebody. Don't be ashamed of, of, of who you are or, or what you do, because you share something with somebody else that can improve their life. Don't be concerned about what other people think of you. In fact, don't even be concerned of what you think of yourself, especially when you start your, your, your journey walk, the beginning of your new journey walk when you're wanting to change your life. Your thoughts and your mindset is gonna try to deceive you and, be, and, and derail you. And, and, uh, and what's the, the other word? It's gonna try to, uh, obviously your own mind will try to deceive you. It will try to betray you. And that's where you really have to reflect on what it is that you truly and honestly want. And you gotta be able to be really consciously aware of your inner being. If you're a person of prayer, I recommend that you pray. 
If you're a person that reads the Bible, I recommend that you read the Bible or find something positive to read. I enjoy making videos. Uh, videos have played a huge impact in the change in my life. That's why I'm always on YouTube and I will continue to emphasize and do more with, with, with YouTube. I'm just looking for more creativity, more ideas and whatever else I can do, you know. Um, life is, you're going to get out of life what you put into it. Whatever you inject into life is what you're going to get out of it, my friend. So if God has given you today anew and we wake up, well, let's focus on today. Do what you must, do what you know you should. Do what you feel is stirring your heart and stirring your mind. Challenge yourself, push yourself to grow. You know, use your will. You know what you need to be doing. You know. You know exactly what you need to be doing. And if you don't, you need to sit down and think about it. Write out, you know, get a piece of paper and, and write your life out. How you want to see things. And it, even if it's just a little bit, something is better than nothing. You know, something is better than nothing and and be willing to accept when you fall down when you scrape yourself when you bleed be willing to, to face the facts be willing to understand that sometimes things may not go your way at all be willing to accept the fact that the bottom's going to drop out the bottom will fall out on certain days people are going to fail you, you you're, you're going to fail yourself be willing to accept those things but quickly pick yourself up and go forward. Don't drown yourself in negativity. Don't drown yourself in negative talk or negative thoughts. Don't drown yourself in that area. You know, pick yourself back up and always, always be thinking about going forward, my friend. Always be thinking about going forward. And even if some days you feel no inspiration at all, Find things to be thankful for. Find things to, you know, like I always say, a positive self-talk. That's a very powerful gift that we have. We can motivate ourselves. We can inspire ourselves. We can have really good conversations with ourselves when nobody else is around, when maybe others may not understand us. You have a gift, a very, very unique, powerful, original gift, and that is your own speech. And you should use it. I know I use mine every single day, every single day. Every single day I tell myself I'm gonna make it a super fantastic, terrific, over the top day, daily in spite of and because of whether I feel like it, whether I don't feel like it. I'm gonna tell myself that every single day and that's my mindset and that's the way it is. And lock, stock and barrel. Um, no one and nothing um, is not gonna persuade me otherwise because I am forcing that into my mindset. That's become a habit in my life. Just like working out, just like doing my walks, just like writing, just like journaling, just like creating these videos. And now I'm forcing myself to do live so that I can prepare myself to be able to speak in front of people live. This is what I'm about. Santos Rolon Jr., Stockton, California, AKA Soldier of Self Mastery. I tell you, today um, I'm a little bit more inspirational than I usually am. I, I do talk a little bit in my videos. This is more of a lengthy video. I know I in the beginning it was a little bit shaky because I was doing my cardio walk around the park and uh, again on an empty stomach working on burning a little bit of fat at the age of 50. Wow I never thought I would be here today. I never you know 50 years young I'm gonna be 51 October 17th and I tell you, I feel like I'm living life all over again. I wish that I could go back 20 or 30 years and have the mindset that I have today. I wish, but that was not possible. And it's not possible for me to go back in time, at least physically. Mentally, I can. We can go into the past and we can go into the future. So don't live in the past though. Live in the present and live in the future of what you can do and what you can be 
and how you can help others. So I will see you sometime soon on another video or I will see you live either on a Wednesday or a Friday. And again, I'm getting ready to go live on Facebook probably earlier during the day once a week. And I may even do another live session on Instagram. You gotta push the envelope, my friend. I tell you, if you want more, you gotta be willing to do more. You gotta be willing to become more valuable. You gotta be willing to change. You gotta be willing to try things. And more importantly, you gotta be willing to fail. Flaws and all. So, with that said, comment, subscribe, like, share. I truly appreciate you on the other side. I thank you for giving me some of your time today. And I hope and I'm going to believe that something I've shared in this video is going to help you. It is going to help you. I really believe that. I believe that I can help people. I, have, I believe that I have a gift. I have uh, faith. I have motivation. I have inspiration. I have something inside me that can help you change your life. I really believe that. So I'll see you on the inside on another video at another time. Remember to make every single day a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top day, daily in spite of and because of. Once again, Santos Jr., a.k.a. Soldier of Self Mastery, aspiring victory living coach. I'm here to listen. If you've got a problem, you've got an issue, you've got a challenge, you want to talk to somebody about it, send me a message. I'm doing a free 30-minute complimentary session. Totally free. You can take that and run with it or we could take it to the next step. And we will find the answer. We will find it. I promise. I guarantee it. Peace.